This is the Achira, which is a rhizome. Rhizomes are, how I understand it, they're not really like a root. They are uh, a stem that is underground that roots come out of and shoots come out of. Ginger is a, is a rhizome. Turmeric is a, is a rhizome. So that, uh, that's what this is. And you can see it's like horizontal with little roots coming out of it. So I guess it does match, uh, match the name. And this, by the way, was sent to me by Wanderlust Nursery. Uh, so Matt and Megan over in Seattle, thank you so much for sending this to me. This is from the Andes, and it's been used to make starch out of. However, it's, uh, it's edible, you can eat it raw, I believe, and you can uh, roast it and boil it, fry it, use it basically how you would use a potato. The plant of this is really, really big. It's bigger than a person. It could be up to eight feet tall and a lot of people grow it as an ornamental. The, uh, the website Cultivariable, which I used as a resource for these, uh, these root videos, they suggest having this as an emergency crop. So if the world comes to an end, you can harvest this root, which is not super uh, <laughs> promising that it's gonna taste good. I'm not sure exactly how to deal, I guess I'll just kind of yank one of these off. Maybe not. There we go. Peel off some of this stuff. Super fibrous in there. Nice and white on the inside. I got a little slice, so try that. It's got like a dirt flavor to it. Not just earthy, but dirty. And a touch of like a raw potato taste. Mmm. Yeah, not, not that great. Um, let me try the, the other part of this just in case that part wasn't like fully developed or something. Okay, that's better. The smaller bit on this was, um, Really not that great. But this uh, white chunk, the bigger white chunk here, has a little bit of a sweetness to it. Reminds me of eating a water chestnut. A little nutty. Still a bit like a raw potato, but not terrible. I think this is one that definitely you would want to, um, would want to cook. Okay, so to prepare this, I'm gonna try uh, pan frying it. So first, I'm gonna lop off all these little strings and things on here. And I think that, although I do have like a whole bunch of these smaller, dark colored ones, because eating this raw didn't taste so great and this one tasted better, I'm just going to try uh, this piece here. Okay, it's been peeled. Now I'm just going to cut little slices out. It's getting golden brown there, so let's uh, rescue these. I like it. I mean, frying something is probably the most forgiving way to deal with, like, anything. Because <laughs> it'll immediately make it taste at least somewhat good. And frying this, I just, like, imagine it's going to be, like, eating a slice of fried potato. But it's definitely not. It looks like it, it smells like it, but the texture on it is different. It's, like, a little bit more juicy. I just think there's, like, more water content in there. So when you bite into it, it's got like a little crisp to it. And the flavor is not, it's like, it does have a potato-y flavor, but it's not 100%. There's something else to it. And it's like a, like a different type of root, like a, like a, like carrot or radish or, or something like that. Like it's not as earthy. It's a little bit more crisp in texture, but also a little bit of crisp in flavor, if that, if that makes any sense. You know, how a carrot has like a little bit more of a refreshing taste than eating a potato. Um, and it reminds me a little bit of water chestnut. There's a touch of like a water chestnut kind of flavor in there. 
So, yeah, not bad. This doesn't need to just be an emergency crop. It definitely does have a flavor that, at least if you fry it, is pretty good. Um, I can see this maybe being better for certain uses than a regular potato would be. Um, just because it has a little bit more water content to it. I would cut this and fry it and put it like on a like a salad or something. So I think that's about it. Very interesting to get a chance to try a different type of root. And um, yeah, see you next time. I want to give a special shout out to AltPod and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon is how this channel happens. It's how I can afford to do all the things that I do. So if you want to help me out by supporting the channel and getting some bonuses along the way, check out the description. I also have these shirts for sale. Those are in the description as well. See you next time. Bye.